Andrew Hanger has won three games in a row from behind. Tonight he's going to have to do what no other player in the history of Jeopardy has done, and that's win a fourth if he wants his streak to survive. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. He's trailing top by just 400, but still not in control of his own destiny. You remember yesterday that he wagered so as not to fall below Fritz, the leader, if they both missed. Picked his spot well. And <clears throat> that might be fresh in Todd's memory. The thing is, they're so close that mind games doesn't really make sense here. Liz, in third, is also going to provide some nuance. So let's get into it. The math here is pretty simple. 13, 2 doubles up. That's going to be 12, 8. And if Todd misses with that wager, we'd be left with 800. So uh, Liz can wager up to 6,600. And Andrew can wager up to 12,4. Alright, uh, looking at Liz doubling up, she'll have 14,8. So to cover that, Andrew will have to wager 1,600. And Todd will have to wager 1,200. Of course, I don't really like that wager, but. We'll see. If uh, Andrew misses with that wager, he'll be left with 11.6. If Todd misses with that wager, he'll be left with 12.4. Uh, so to get above that list, you wager at least 5,000, just to be safe. All right, uh, now we go into our second order, and I will throw that away. And we'll pick blue. So remember what I said, if Todd's going to go for, to beat Andrew, might as well just play for the lockout. Don't tempt fate. Andrew has wagered everything before. Or go small, but don't let Liz catch up to you. Wager at least 1,200. Same thing goes with uh, Andrew and Liz. If Andrew's going to cover the $6,600 wager, it's going to be 14000 might as well just cover the, the extra... 800 or whatever it's going to be. There's no real point in trying to guess that one out, so there's really no second order wager tonight. So I guess I'll keep blue for the zero wagers. Start with Andrew and Todd. They're separated by just 400, so 400, 800, nothing that can be done there. Uh, Andrew and Liz are separated by 5,800, so we'll bump that up there. And... Drop that down there, and uh, on the downside, that would be uh, double that is eleven six. So I guess this is gonna go there. And uh, if Liz wants to cover Todd, that's gonna be a wager of uh, sixty two hundred. So. Liz is actually kind of forced into this little range, which is easy for her. And uh, Andrew and Todd are going to be duking it out here. I guess Todd would want to cap this little wager on, uh, on 6200 as well, but not too concerned about that. And once again, I'm giving out two reds because Andrew went for everything for some reason. He would have lost had Todd gotten it right or had he gotten it wrong. And Liz didn't even play defense against his $1,600 wager, which would have made sense out of Andrew. And, uh, yeah, Andrew has now won four straight games from behind. That's pretty incredible. I think it's about a 1% chance of that happening, given the scores and the wagers and what could have happened. He's been in second place every time, which is funny. He's going for five tomorrow. Will he be behind then, too? Find out then on the final wager.